peculiar problem of preachers. Peculiar problem of those who are experienced with the word of God. That you can preach and things will be happening. People can be healed. People can even repent. When you are still in your backsliding state. Even when they have lost their, their point with God. Things can still happen. You wonder why a man that is fornicating is still preaching and the anointing is still flowing like water. And some of you are convinced and say, if God is not with him, why are people being saved? Don't talk like that. There was a great revival in Nineveh. But the vessel that was used was not part of it. Do you know it is possible for you to be used to help others? And that does not mean you are being helped at all. Do you know these are the issues I don't want to ignore about my life? I don't want to congratulate myself that yes, people have been saved as I preach here, as I preach there. That doesn't have anything to do with who I am. The name of Jesus is credit worthy anytime. If we honor his name, even if a dog mentions it. So what must I do not to miss my own place? I must keep an eye on my personal relationship with I God. I must not measure my life with the things that happen in the congregation of God's people. I must not think that because I'm preaching and people are getting helped and they are being saved, that it's well with my soul. When it is not, I am surprised that some people will be able to say in that day, in your name, we cast out demons. I'm wondering, how could people in his name cast out demons and they will still be workers of iniquity? Very possible. It is this kind of possibility that I'm crying to you about tonight. Are there some of you say, well, even though I am still watching pornographic films, but anytime I preach in my fellowship, things happen. I Hallelujah. know that a man of God can be dying, but when he come on the pulpit, fire. So that's why I do not rate any man of God by the pulpit. Because the pulpit... It's a place where God can just walk anytime he wants to walk. It has nothing to do with how correct you are. So I must tell even those of you that are preachers, fellowship presidents, never you be arrogant. Can you let us insist that your personal walk with God comes before any activity of ministry? And I suggest to you that the only way you can last, that in the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years if God tarries, you will still be relevant. It's if you check what goes on in your inner man. Have you ever gone for a meeting where things happened? People were blessed, but you are dry. You sang, people are just jubilating, but inside of you, there's a question mark. Have you ever seen preachers who preach so powerfully, but they went home and themselves and their wives, they are fighting. And only wives or such preachers can tell you the truth. Not many of those pastors' wives are happy. They can't cry publicly because they must not spoil ministry. They cannot go to anybody for counseling because how can pastors' wives need counseling? You see, Jonah preached. Nineveh repented. But Jonah was dry. Secret things that makes great men slide to end in jeopardy. They give attention to the public. They overlook the private. They are more concerned about presentation. But they do not pay attention to preservation of their inner man. They take time to dress up. But they did not take enough time to deal with personal IG of their spirit. I don't know how we can cry for revival and not cry for issues that are more pertinent. Issues that have made many lives to end in a question mark. My fear is that many more lives are still going to end with a question mark. Many more that you thought are great may be found last when the role is called up yonder. He that thinketh is standard, let him take it, lest he falls. The mighty are falling before. Termites of sin have finished them. I don't want to preach about revival and not be in revival. I don't want to challenge others to revival and I will be out of it.
I don't want to call many to the kingdom of God and I myself will be ordered to stand aside. I will end well.